Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in Star Sand. Okay, guys, I have been working on getting a little base constructed. I need more wood. I need more stuff. Um, I am looking at our little date palm here. I don't know. Yeah, I'm assuming that we do it just the same as we would anything else. So we were able to grow a date palm. Um, it seemed to grow pretty quick compared to like all the other trees. The date palm grew faster than uh, the ones that I had cut down because the ones I cut down are still growing over there. So we have a limited amount of stuff that we can do here um yeah we can't just go super crazy i mean we probably could have early on in the game if i would have realized that you know i could have built the crop plot and you know got everything situated but you know we don't have that quite situated yet so right now i'm gonna go ahead and grow me a coconut tree because why not get some water all right, now I got some food cooking over here, or I had some food cooking. We'll see what it is. Uh, yeah, we've got a couple pieces right here. Let's go ahead and consume. And then I need at least one more plank. So let's go ahead and craft up a plank. And then I'm going to go ahead and split my logs. And I'm going to put two more on the fire. So we've got a handful of meat here. Um, luckily, yesterday I was able to... There was three of the little... Uh, the goat things. The Why do I always struggle with the name? The, the antelope looking things. Um, yeah, y'all know what I'm talking about. There was three of those roaming around. I was able to get all of those shots. So we've got six leather on us. We have a bunch of meat. I've been cutting down a bunch of trees. So I've got coconuts. I've got dates. I've got stuff. So we can survive for a little while as long as we don't get like brutally murdered by the little the little centipede dude. So yeah, you know, that's that's a thing. So, and, you know, I was going to move the location of the base. I was going to put it out there on this little rock uh, where out here, but for whatever reason, it wouldn't allow me to put a foundation out there. And yes, I know this isn't the foundation. This is a roof piece, but when I had it selected on foundation, it would not let me put one out there. Notice how it's all nice and red. Come on, let me let me up. Red, red, red. Just for whatever reason, it does not want you building over the top of either the water or those rocks because it's staying red. And then it goes green back here. So yeah, I'm not not a hundred percent sure what the deal is, but you know what? I figured if we come right out of our front door, you know, we hit this rock and then boom, we can jump straight over, hit the water. And here we are on our safe little area right here. So, hoping maybe that, you know, they won't just rip this thing out. Um, the roof looks solid. The floors look, for the most part, solid. But, uh, yeah, it just, it, the walls. <laughs> yeah, I guess if you're in a survival situation, that would work as a wall. But considered we have those critters roaming around, uh, unless they're unless they're completely based on vision, that's not going to do much. And even then, I think they still might figure out we're in here. But anyway, so we've got this going. Now I can also put a door in. Let's see, what does it take for a door? Can we? Oops. I need three logs and one cordage. I believe I need a cordage. Yeah, I don't have any cordage. So I'm going to have to toss that down. Now I wonder, can I manipulate this in here without tearing up my building? There you go. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, all that looks good. All right, so give me one more cordage. That way we can put a door on this guy. Let's see, where's my entrance? There it is. One door. Door opens. Uh, let's see, can I put a set of stairs on this guy? Hmm. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Need two wooden planks. Really? I don't have any logs? No logs. All right. Got to chop down another tree. We're running out of trees to chop down here. I'm waiting on my axe to break. I know it's going to be soon. Alright, got that. Now let me make up two planks. There we go. All right, now we've got us a little bit of a base here. I can now hide inside from things, maybe, possibly. Uh, let me see, crafting now that we've got that done, I can start looking at doing some of, of the other stuff, like maybe this loom. What does it take for the loom? I need three sticks and three cordage in order to make the loom, which means we're going to have to cut down at least one more tree. Well, we might as well get it cut down now. That way they have more time to regrow. Craft up three cordage. Let's see, and then I need a stick. So, uh, is there any sticks laying around out here? Every once in a while, I can find a stick. But it'd probably be easier just to. Um, well, my inventory is kind of full here. Hold on. There we go. And let's build the loom. So we've got we've got that little bit of hemp that we collected from those bushes. I want to see if we can't turn it into a couple pieces of cloth and maybe get uh, a better shirt or some pants or something and see if we can't equip ourselves a little bit better before going back out into the desert. It'd be nice to get some sort of armor going. That's That's what I'd like to have, a little bit of armor maybe. All right, one loom. You need to stand close to the loom to craft cloth, okay.
let me grab where is it at um it's not those raw hemp yep raw hemp right there and then those are the buds okay All right, so I can craft it in my inventory. I just got to be by the loom. Is, is that what's going on here? So raw hemp. Oh, seriously? It takes four pieces to make one clothing or one cloth? Wow, we're going to need so many of those. Uh, <laughs> we've got two pieces. Can I build anything with two pieces of cloth? No, I cannot. What does a turban cost me? Four pieces of cloth. A long shirt cost me four pieces of cloth. And pants take eight. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, that's a no-go for right now. All right. Well, on the bright side, at least we, you know, have some things. I mean, we don't have to have everything situated right now, but... It is hot. We need to get a drink. And then we'll grab some meat. I'll go ahead and put two more logs on the fire. I'll throw those two pieces of meat in there. All right. Looking good. There we go. Yep, we'll go ahead and stack those. So I'm going to leave the leather in there for right now because we still don't have enough. Those are stones. So, you know what? Let me come back in here. Let me grab this cordage. All right, so we're going to get that crafted up real fast. I think what I'm about to do is I'm going to make a backup axe because I know my axe is going to break here pretty soon. Uh, there's just no, no doubts about it. We've cut down so many trees. I'm surprised it hasn't already broke. So let me go ahead and craft that. And I think after that, I want to craft up... See, I need stick and I need a cordage, right? Yeah, stick and a cordage. Uh-oh. Uh, it's that time again. It is that time again. We'll just come stand over here for a moment. All right, 11 arrows. We'll just cool off for a minute. Drink a little bit of water here. Now, I'm not sure if they will attack my building or not.
And I kind of want to find out. I kind of don't. Uh, I guess we're going to find out. I mean, so far, it seems like we're all right. Nothing really going on in here. So what does this turret do? So I need logs and cords used for navigation. You can see it from afar and it will appear on the map once placed. Oh, okay. So I was thinking of a turret like a gun turret. I was thinking we were going to have some sort of like defensive tower. I, I, I don't, I think they might want to reconsider the wording on that one. Yeah. Yeah, I think the wording might need to be improved just a little bit. Uh, <laughs> we've got to find clay. Um, clay, clay, clay. Yeah, if we can find clay. I think clay is going to be the next big thing. So we've got leather, we've got cordage, and I can get sticks. Okay, so we also can make a backpack. I've got the leather for a backpack. I just need the cordage. Which I can only make a couple cordage right now. So far it seems like the building's working though. The thing's not bothering me as long as we're in here. So yeah. I don't know. Maybe that's what we do. Is just we stay inside when the things come in. You know. Just like the Tremors movie. You don't go outside. You don't mess with stuff. But I have this feeling if we don't go out here and kill him, he's going to be waiting on us. And Oh, there he is out there. Hold on. He's coming right at us. Look at him. He's all like. He's waiting. Ooh, can he not hit us? Ooh. Get out of my house. My house. <laughs> nope, he can hit us. Yeah, I was trying to see if I could, like, kill him like that, but that does not seem to really work. At least he's not attacking the building. Not that I know of, anyway. There we go, he's dead. There's the loot. And another alien head. Or a alien head. Something. We got body parts. How many arrows do I got? Ten. All right, so one of my arrows missed. I think that first shot missed him. Yeah, here it is. All right, well, that's okay. Another alien down. So we've got him down. He's out of our hair. Let me go back here. I want to check these other trees to see if they've grown... Thought I heard something. Let's see if they've grown big enough to do anything with. I don't think they have. 
yeah, I'm not seeing any dates in that tree yet. And then, of course, this tree is just not even a tree. Okay. Go ahead and get this cut up real quick. Oh yeah, I needed to make cordage then. I... Uh, that would give me enough for one more cordage. That's what I needed. And then for my backpack, that'd give us... Oh, no, I need four cordage. Hold on. And there goes our axe. But that's okay, because I have a backup. Let me run over here to our boxes. I know at some point we're going to be able to make something with all these alien parts. Alright, let me see. Backpack. I need sticks. Alright, one backpack coming up. So we're going to upgrade from the satchel to the backpack, which is good. Maybe, I'm hoping that the backpack will give us like a ton of more storage, but I bet you it gives us like one extra row than the satchel does. If I, if I were to guess, we would have three rows. Which is good though, because you know, once we start exploring and gathering more stuff, yeah, I'll need I'll need all the spots we can get. All right, so let's just switch that out. Yep, one more row. Can I have it as an accessory? No. No. What did I do? I did something. I didn't mean to activate that. It never started. It was always there. A menace from below, as old as our desert. Pretty sure we've already heard this one. Here, thirst and hunger drive all creatures. But them, they crave blood and flesh. We learned to coexist fighting we fought for millennia they would never stop they needed us to feed and the more they fed the more their number would grow endangering the very existence of our kind and so far it seems like I'm the only one left and I've killed what three or four of them so yeah, I think their uh, numbers are starting to depopulate just a little bit here. Just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and store that bag. Because I guess we don't need it. But now we have a more, well, we have more decent inventory space. I'm not going to say it's the greatest inventory space. But it, it's, it's better. Most certainly it is better. Alright. Well... I think that is everything that we can build. 
Other than a bed, we can build a bed. I need fronds and I need cordage. Uh, yeah, let me drop them right over here so that I can see. Actually, do I have stems? No, no, I don't. Okay. Oops, I picked up one of the fronds. Let's see. Oh, I only needed two cordage. Okay, so we'll have enough cordage now. Give me my hammer. Oh, no, I don't need the hammer, do I? I can just craft it in the... Yep, right there. All right, we're getting us a bed. We're going to be sleeping in style. We've got us a little two-by-two two shack. We've got us a loom. We've got us a bed crafting. We've got a couple storage boxes. We've got a farm plot. Uh, like I said, the only thing we're missing right now is the furnace and the uh, mortar. And we've, well, we we won't have it all. But those are the two big components that I'm, I feel like we're missing right now. So as soon as I can get those two, I think we'll be pretty well off. All right. We'll go ahead and save that game. All right, guys. Well, I think that is going to be it for today's video. We've got a little bit of stuff done, and I think tomorrow we'll be ready to venture out, journey, go do some stuff. Maybe we'll... Uh, Maybe we'll be able to get to that other oasis and get some stuff done. But anyway, that is going to do it for today's video. I do hope everybody has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always... Feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. You guys would like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support. All the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome. I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.